Hey everyone, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And I've had a lot of questions about how I actually physically make these videos because I'm pretty consistent with them and I do them a lot. And so I wanted to come on here and tell you guys how I make them. So I have a MacBook Air and an iPhone and that's really what I use to make my videos. I don't do anything super exciting with my videos. I have a um, Zoom program that I use when I use my computer. So I use a program called Zoom. And I do have the paid service, which is $9.99 a month, but you do not need it if your videos are gonna be less than 40 minutes. So all you need to do is get a free Zoom account, hit record, and then automatically when you end your video, it saves it to your computer and then you can upload it wherever you'd like to upload it to, Facebook, YouTube, whatever video site you use. And that's really what I use to make my videos. Now, I also have a little trailer at the end of my videos, some of you may have noticed, and I got that trailer made for like $20 at Fiverr, F -I -V F-I-V-E-R-R dot com. And Fiverr is a great site if you, you know, need help uh, with anything, really. You know, if you need help blogging or making graphics or videos or a poster, like a promotional poster, something like that. It is great. I use it weekly for random odd tasks that I need. And um, you buy like things called gigs and the gigs usually range, I usually spend between five and $20 to have something done, which is so, so, so reasonable, especially if it's gonna take you hours to figure out just how to do it. It's so easy. So I got that trailer made at Fiverr and I add it using iMovie on my computer. So I just go into iMovie and I put in the uploaded video to my computer from Zoom and then I just kind of combine it with that um, little promotional video at the end or that little tail end video. And that's been really awesome for me and super easy for me to do because I leave the tail end video in there and I just go in and I delete out whatever the last video was that was in iMovie and I put in my new video. So that has been great for me because I don't have a lot of time to sit around and figure out, you know, a bunch of techie stuff. So um, on my phone, I use really just my video camera and on my computer, I use Zoom. And I make sure that my lighting is good, nice and bright. And if I'm recording at night, which honestly I often do because I work during the day. So if I'm not recording on the weekends, I'm usually recording at night. And I have a really great um, Amazon light fixture that I use when I record at night. I can post it for you guys in the comments if you'd like. Um, I know a lot of people use the um, Diva Ring. That was kind of out of my budget when I was looking, but the Amazon light fixture I think that I used was around $30. And it's just basically two lights that stare at you and you can adjust them as needed. Like it's two little lights on little stand up things and you can turn as, as needed. So sometimes I only need one light, sometimes I need both lights, but they're really great, really simple to use, really easy to set up. And they make it really easy to make these videos and make sure that I am bright and clear. So that's basically it. So I basically use Zoom um, and iMovie on my computer and I basically just use the video function on my phone. Most of the videos on my YouTube channel are recorded from my computer. Um, and that's why I'm able to add the trailer. I'm sure that I could get the trailer on my phone and do the same thing with iMovie on my phone, but really I only use my phone to go live on pages. So I don't use it a whole lot. Um, all of my videos you'll see have like a cover photo that isn't a still shot of me in the video. And I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com to make those. And then the best thing about Canva, first of all, it's free. But the best thing about Canva, in my opinion, that's different from a lot of other sites is that it saves your, your templates. So all I have to do is, you know, I kind of create the template 
And then I just change the name of the video on the front page and I can just upload it to the video, which makes my life so much easier rather than like finding that picture that I used or a new picture and adding in my website and adding in my name again and making sure everything is exactly where it should be. It's basically all lined up for me and all I need to do is change the title. So I hope this is helpful for you guys and that it makes video making much simpler because I think a lot of people way overthink it. It doesn't need to be expensive. In fact, pretty much besides the physical hardware, so besides the computer and my phone, everything that I use is free. You know, I don't have to pay monthly subscriptions. Like I said, I do pay for Zoom because I do do over 40 minutes sometimes, but if you don't, then you don't need to. You just need the hardware. And that that's the best thing you can do. Um, if you record a lot outside, you might wanna get like one of those clip-on microphones, but I don't, and so I don't need one of those. But really, you don't need a ton of stuff. A phone, some decent lighting, a computer, um, and you should be good to go. Really, it's about your confidence and what you have to say versus you know all the fanciness. And I love fancy videos. I'm not saying that I don't, and I think that people that do them are amazing. But that's not where I put my time and effort. And you can definitely be effective on a low budget, you know, kind of lower tech. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.